What's going on guys? It's your boy Az. We are back here with another one and uh, I did find a, a decent sized uh, Infinity Watch team to kind of demonstrate uh, just how powerful they are even if I'm punching down 100k ish and um, in, uh, uh, unfortunately uh, yeah unfortunately these guys these guys have been really really tough to play against. I've uh, played against ones that are similar to my power level and punched across and um i've just about pretty much lost most of those so before we jump in here uh, we're going to quickly just go to our emma frost usually for arena i like to switch her into my skirmisher mode so that way uh, we can get that extra little vulnerability if uh if we can um the vulnerability helps because then kestrel can basically get that extra hit in if she hits uh and that's why i do it but uh, as you guys see here we're going to target mr um uh, JXL and uh, and yeah, and this is the lineup. I'm running here Zemo to the far uh, far right uh, my right uh, Kestro beside uh, doom in the middle silver surfer and then Emma Frost skirmisher and as you guys can see here I've got a pretty decent sized team and uh, And even uh, when we get the gameplay here you guys will see that yeah, it's um it's a pretty uh, It's a pretty powerful team to play up against even if we're punching 100k down so that's why um, like yesterday when I was alluding to, make sure you guys are getting your Infinity Watch guys up because uh, this team is the real deal. And actually, even with the four of them, I've been able to beat uh, Black Order teams, uh, even in the arena. So, I mean, it's been pretty nuts uh, with just the four of them. Like, it's pretty crazy how strong they are. So, anyways, uh, what you want to do here is, uh, what I like to do is, and I don't know if this is the correct strategy, but what I found is useful is basically we need to ability block um file of l so that way she can't uh, she can't do anything um you want to take her out first because uh if you leave her alone she's going to give all the death proof and all the deflex and that's going to be really annoying um that's why we uh we're targeting her and luckily for us we're also up against a pretty weak a weaker kestrel usually the ones i play up against in my shard are at least uh in the 150 160 or 170 range so it's nice we do have a weaker one and uh i think in this case uh, we are going to finish off Castro here because uh, we want to make sure we can take care of her. She's got that vulnerability, so hopefully that kills her. That didn't kill her. That's fine. And uh, then you can see more doing her thing. It's going to do a massive amount of damage. Look at that. Uh, um, yeah, lots of damage there. So luckily for us, uh, we have some weakened guys there. We're going to use Kestrel's special. I like to do her special because it does the speed up as well and gives her uh, some extra, you know, some extra low bonuses. And then, of course, uh, we got Emma Frost there. That's going to hit the defense down, so we get an extra passive from Kestro. And uh, and now even with just the three of these guys, watch, watch. I think uh, once uh, uh, Moon Dragon does her thing, uh, let's see if anybody dies. Because yeah, like um, I think Gamora is basically the key to this team. And like, look how much damage she does. Look at that. Look, look. Doom's like Doom and Zemo are pretty much near death after just one turn from Gamora. And of course, I mean that's a pretty big Gamora, but uh, nonetheless. Um, and look at that. Oh, and Doom goes down actually. So. Uh, pretty crazy and doom is uh, obviously I know you guys might not have doom to play on this team so another alternate would be um, black bolt black bolt works good too but as you guys saw there he didn't even doom it didn't even matter that doom is on this uh, one because he just got he just got nuked and if anything I think the uh, the doom bots actually helped Gamora out because uh, she it was basically able to feed her her, her turn meter um, yeah so anyways uh, as you guys see there we can finish off these guys here now Gamora's gonna come back alive uh, just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous how strong she is. Um, especially because this one's so big. Um, and and again, this is we're punching down 100k. And you know, look at that. Uh, Kestrel's dead. Zemo's almost dead. Um, so we do we do get we do get out the skin of our teeth here almost. I'd say, but I wouldn't say it was a smooth victory by any means. And uh, unfortunately, um, if I can, if I find some other ones, we can try again here. But yeah, if I punch across, oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we, it looks like we slingshotted it up here. Um, uh, it might have been attacking when he uh, when they were attacking, and it looks like we actually rocketed up to 19 instead of 23. So, sucks. Uh, that sucks for them, but uh, good for us. So, as you guys can see here, um, the uh, there are some pretty crazy punch ups right now on the teams, and unfortunately, like I said, it's uh, it's a pretty nuts team to go up against. And I want to show you guys some more gameplay, but uh, it eats up quite a bit of time as well, so I won't do that. But uh, as you guys saw, we kind of slingshotted here, and uh, pretty nice for us, actually, because our one attack basically went from 30 and brought us to 19. So, really nice there. Uh, sucks for, like I said, sucks for him. Anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, let's actually jump into the uh, the spreadsheet now, and uh, we'll take a look at our, uh, our charts for today, uh, for day number six. All right, so just looking at the charts here, as you guys can see here, uh, we've pretty much... Uh, 
uh, we had a really good start and uh and obviously as you guys can see here we had a really bad uh day on the 25th um 26 not so bad right now we're we're doing okay um and then obviously uh we do have the uh we have the uh, the double events coming up here, so obviously uh, make sure you guys are saving those cores. Make sure you guys are saving those those free refreshes, uh, and of course uh, making sure you guys are also trying to maximize that. Um, you can basically save your energy before the event goes live at the reset, and then use your uh, your daily free refreshes that cost uh, you know the 50 refills or whatever, and then do it again before it ends the next day. So that way you can really maximize those two time shards. Um, and that's going to probably be the biggest, um, probably the biggest source of your shards uh, for the event. And uh, hoping that it makes a dent for us. Obviously, uh, we still have quite a bit to, uh, we still have quite a bit to get to because we need 165. And uh, we're currently, um, you know, we're currently, you know, in the halfway, uh, halfway-ish mark. Um, we just got to make sure we, uh, we keep up and uh, we're smart with our resources. And I, like I said already, I haven't been spending my cores on uh, on multiple man because he's already five, and I haven't used uh, any energy on any other node outside of the Polaris nodes. So obviously that helps, and uh, and obviously because the other uh, the other three X Factor guys are already five yellow, so it works out for me in that way. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna maximize on Polaris, and hopefully these uh, these two times shard events will come, and then um, because uh, multiple man is or not multiple man uh, because Adam Warlock is pretty much coming on the uh you know on the uh the next day here um we will be able to figure out how long his event will be and that will dictate if we need to expand and and uh adjust our spreadsheet because they obviously if if they give us more time that's great that means we can basically dial back on the cores and and we can save a few as well and try to be more efficient um obviously uh hopefully rng is on our side when those double event comes because yeah i i've i've seen and i've experienced mixed things uh when those events go live it seems like the drop rates are even worse so i don't i hope this isn't the case for this time but uh like i said when i was farming for uh, uh jubilee and when i was farming for um i think doc Ock the first time around on on the shards i think for negasonic um yeah they were they weren't great uh, i was refreshing and it was like yeah it was uh it was all over the place so Anyways, guys, that's all we got for this time. Uh, hopefully, you guys, uh, hopefully you guys are prepping up well, and hopefully you guys have had some decent RNG as well. Uh, but that's the update here for uh, for today, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.